Oh, oh, then I, I don't know. I better do the intro for, better do the intro for the video, huh? All right, hey guys, Ruby here, and today we will be reacting to BFD three. <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, today we'll be reacting to BFD thirty. Um, uh, I've been waiting like a day, no more than a day, almost two days to um react to this. So um, yeah. I guess we should start right now. Yeah. Yo, Match! Check this out! <laughs> Ta-da! Ew! And what's, like, that supposed to be, anyway? Uh, isn't it obvious? It's my favorite host, of course. Don't you mean, like, our favorite host? <laughs> look, look! Four's here! He's, like, here! <laughs> little matchy it's time for the grand finale i can never miss this where's my final two over here you are the best host ever even better than ice cube could ever be as the host your obsession with ice cube confuses me but i appreciate it nonetheless and i have a much much lower appreciation of ice cube but i also agree you're probably better than her maybe everyone let's all chant for his name four 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 wow <laughs> Thank you so much for the support, everyone. Say, say he's been gone for a while. I wonder when Four's coming back. Coming back? For what does this mean? No, nothing. It's nothing. Coming back? Come back, Four! Did you go somewhere, Four? Wait, you left? Where to? Four, what did it mean, coming back? What happened? Like, tell us already. Don't leave us, like, in the dark. Uh, hello? Anybody home in there? Where did you go? Just let me stay. Let me stay in here forever. Flower, what in four did you just do? Uh, uh Flower, what in four did you just do? Nothing. I didn't think I did anything. What the? Flower, what happened? What do we do? What the pedal was that? Uh, well, whatever it was, it seems to be over. This is your morning. Let me stay in here forever and leave me alone. Yikes, we're sorry. Okay, we're sorry, we're sorry, we're sorry. <laughs> it looks like that's all over. Roll credits. Or we can keep the episode going or something, maybe. Let's go help right now. Yeah, that was my other idea. End the episode or uh, find help or whatever. Either works. Hello, Exy. Hmm. You haven't moved in a good few. Wait, I think this watch is off by a couple of minutes. Okay, it's fixed. So you haven't moved in a couple of months, so I was wondering if you wanted to come join us in the TV studio or something. No, I'm all good. Staying right here, thanks. Why there? Why not where I am? Or maybe here. Or why not here? This is the exact spot where Four descended into the desert, and I'm not leaving his side. Then I'll join you for a little bit. We sure are good friends. Well then, I, uh, will be thankful. So yeah, thank you. My tone is angry because of Four situation. My thank yous are genuine. So yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> So, Bubble, the grand cake isn't so hideous this time, is it? I don't know how to tell you this, but it might actually be worse. In denial, I suppose. Surprise, surprise. Guys, we came here as fast as we could! Something really big happened, you guys. So basically- True. And that big thing is that the final episode has begun. So let's begin. No, announcer, not that! We really- Shush. How long it is quiet break? time for you. Right. Let's begin. We have a large crowd watching us today. Woo! Thank you for inviting me! This is awesome! Wow, what a big crowd! Um, it seems I forgot to send out all the other invitations. Oh no. Don't worry! Why 
one of me in the audience is better than 50 of some other randoms anyways. That's good to hear. Today's cake at stake will determine the winner of this entire season of BFB. That lucky munchkin will receive three prizes. The most for one contestant ever. Woo! Yay! Thank you, birthday cake. Speaking of cake, the... What have they done? For the big crap. No. Dumbs anyway. Not be instant ever. Cake. It just look. The prizes is the grand cake. Uh, uh, I don't know. It just looks a little cruddy. I don't know. I spent all day on it. I don't know. I was expecting you guys to give a nicer reply after I said that. Whatever. The second prize is the BFB. Yeah, sick. And finally, the the uh, what? The psi, the BFDI. <laughs> so, without further ado, I'm curious. Eliminated contestants, I want to know your opinion on who you would want to win the season of BFB. Me! My opinion is that it'd be pretty awesome if I could win BFB. But Blocky, you aren't one of the possible contenders. <laughs> yeah, I know that. So why did you think that would? But I just thought you wanted to know my opinion, so I thought I could fudge the rules and- Lucky. What? Stop talking. <laughs> Back to reality now. Who, among flour and gelatin, do you want to win? Oh, uh, oh, uh, hmm. Gelatin? Why not? Ooh, a gelatin voter, eh? I want to be a contrarian, so I'll vote flower. Ooh, me too. You get it, fashion queen. Wait, but now we're the majority opinion. May I change my answer? No, you may not. Gelatin got this. I always appreciate a guy who knows how to strut his style by impersonating my style and breaking the law and going to jail and... All right, we'll just move on from that, I guess. You got this, Gelatin. Sometimes one vote can mean everything. Oh, my bubble blower! Gelatin's just gotta win! Talkster made a great point about one vote meaning everything, and that's why I'm voting Flower. Thought we were what? buddies, Blockster. Oh, right. Uh, gelatin it is, then. Ha! Uh, hey, just keep this between us, okay, announcer? But I'm really gonna lock my vote in for Flower. Blocky's vote is now locked in for Flower. I'm gonna vote my friend Flower, too. Hopefully a vote from one winner to another. Flower! Go! Go, Flower! I've spent years and years with both of you, so it's hard to choose between you. Oh, that's so true. Profiley's relationships with both of these finalists is so complex, and dates back so far, it must be so hard for them to choose. But I'm feeling like a nature lover today. Good luck, gal. Hey, why do you get a vote? Ahem, if funny circle friend... Profiley. If Profiley can vote, I can too. And I'm voting gelatin just to spite Profiley. Well, I'm voting for flower. <gasps> Lollipop, why? Newbie Alliance, remember? Because I gave you my cup. Lollipop, no. You, you purposefully threw it away. How could you? Oh, Lollipop, no. I could never erase your masterpiece. It's actually way simpler than that. All that happened is I had a really painful, fiery death, and when I was respawned, I was just normal me again. Oh, so you just died. I thought it was something serious or upsetting. Okay. I vote gelatin. Yay! I vote flower, cause she's a plant. And also she voted for me last time. Gotta pay it forward. Thanks, plant buddy. Teardrop, are you going to vote? Thanks, Teetster. Really appreciate it. So it's all tied up. Seven to seven. Thanks for nothing. I guess it all comes down to the viewers after all. So finally, we are going to need a drum roll. Don't worry, I'll be of assistance. <laughs> <laughs> Eliminated contestants, make a good old drum roll for our current contestants. They deserve it. Wow, another insanely close vote. Good job, everyone. This is clearly just paper. I was trying to preserve your feelings by pretending it was closer than it was. Oh, uh, I see. Flower, you received 48,891 votes out of a total of 77,131 votes. Congratulations, you win BFB alongside the three prizes this cake at stake awards you with. Oh, my meat factory. Well, I guess this makes me the runner-up. Congrats, Flower. Good game. You too, Jellyman. 
Oh, guys, the BFP screen thing, magic, uh, what's happening to it? Is this thing deep frying? What the? So beautiful. Wow, there it is, the BFP. This is going to be delish. Guys, I knew it was tasty, but with mustard? No competition, guys. No competition. Now, where'd I leave my ketchup? Stop putting condiments on the prize of the season. Flour, here is the grand cake. Feel free to put condiments on this prize for the season. Ah, uh, thanks, I guess. And here's the BFB. I still can't believe this is happening. I won BFB? Like, really? Still not appreciative, huh, Flower? Oh, gosh, not you carrot cakes again. Just slap me and be on with it. Don't worry, nothing like that today. I'm just here to deliver you your happy thoughts. And the winner of BFB is Gelatin. Yes, I did it! Newbie Alliance, we did it, guys! It paid off! Congrats, Jello. We did it, buddy. And here's your BFB, of course. Yo, let's go! Congratulations on the win, Gelatin! You deserve it! Thanks so much, Flower. You were a great competitor. So, what was the happy thought, Flower? Well, you're my friend, so I can trust you, right? Sure, buddy. I, look, I'm happy I won it all. But I think I would have also been happy if Gelatin won. Maybe it'd be cool if I shared a prize with him or something. I'm not gonna tell you what to do with your prize because it's yours. But I'll just say I had an opportunity to share my prize with someone close to me. And I made a mistake. Whereas right now, you have an opportunity, Flower. Hmm. Thanks, Fiery. Second place ain't half bad, buddy. I'm proud of you. Thank you. I forgot we were competing for a while. You what? For how long? Three years or so. Yo, Jellyhead! Hey, Flower. Congrats again on the win. I think in a lot of ways, you truly won Gelatin. Huh? How so? Look at the alliance you made, Jello. I might have won the season, but you made a lot of close relationships. Nothing beats that. Yeah, I guess there is a victory in everything. Thanks, Flower. I also think you earned this. What? Flower? You, you won this. Right, Lollipop? Flower won this, right? Okay, Flower, you won this. I wanted to win the show, Jello. I've done that. I think you deserve this, and you clearly want it. <laughs> this really means a lot to me. Thanks so much, Flower. That was so cool! Alright, Jelly Boy, let's see how this BFB thing works anyway. Alrighty, do I just open it like a book? And... Hey, whoa! It's episode one of the season, guys! It's literally BFB! And I can scrub along and... Guys, look! It's all our little moments throughout the season! Uh, why did my voice sound so weird back then? Look, Teaster, it's you! And OMG, I gotta check this out! Here it is! See? Pretty cool, right, folks? And I thought once was enough. Haha! <laughs> No, seriously, once was more than enough. Gelatin, take the hint, once was enough. <laughs> Sorry. This is pretty cool though. Seems like 4 has somehow made this high-tech, deep-fried seasonal block that preserves all the video footage of this season. Fascinating. I wonder if he was involved in the making of that BFDI prize too. Then, beatbox. Sigh, yes, Gelatin, beatbox. But I wonder why 4 would go through so much effort to make these. Cause he's dumb? Yes, that is exactly correct. And I believe I'm owed one more prize, right, Speakery? Uh, yep, you win the, the, uh, eat the ikes. The, the BFDI. Come on, announcer, we went through enough to win this. Sigh, fine. A competition is a competition. You've earned it. Here is the BFDI. Thank you, I, I, I give it, announcer, give it! Oh, gelatin or flower having the BFDI? I don't think so. It's purple face time. <laughs> I was wondering when you were gonna, you know, do what you do. Makes sense. Purple face, get back here! That BFDI is not yours! 
Yeah, it's mine. Also not true! Purple face, you're not taking off with that prize that easily. Guys, let's help Flower grab her prize after Purple Pro. <laughs> What's even his plan here? Looks like he's heading for the gold bus. <laughs> Quickly, guys! <laughs> the ultimate escape! I'll just hide the BFDI under this seat here and drive! Drive! <laughs> now I'm swiftly away from all those annoying contests. Uh, I was relaxing here. Will you tell anyone where I hid the BFDI? Is this gonna be a problem. I won't tell anyone. If I can just relax here in peace. Sure thing. Then my lips are sealed. Quick, everyone. Or slowly. We're not exactly in a rush here. <laughs> what? Curses. You're somehow caught up quick. Too bad you'll never know where I hid the BFDI. <laughs> Purple face hid it under a chair at the back of the boss. You. You said you wouldn't tell anyone about that. Goober! I said I wouldn't as long as I could relax in peace. And you broke that deal, Dum Dum. Hello once again, yellow friend. Still here, I see. This is the last episode. BFB means so much to him. I just know he'll come back. So anyway, can you explain this whole desert thing to me anyway? Where is he? He's right here on the ground. Pat, Pat. Okay, and you are right here. Pat, Pat, Pat. Four is just living in their own head right now. I've just been here watching all these weird BFDI episodes that keep scripting out. Wait, what? See? He's making a season finale with pencil and bracelet right now. Well, that's good news at least. Close to the end of the season. This is the 43rd hypothetical season. I've watched them run through their head. Ah, uh, not as good then, is it? Say, how did I do in this season? Oh, uh, you're not exactly in this season. Not in it as in uh, not in the final two? Because I came third? <laughs> I will take it. Oh, uh, yeah. Third. Let's go with that. Why not? I suppose they're, like, escaping because they didn't feel wanted, huh? Like, with the speakery host stuff? I mean, the whole pillory ruins, too, I guess. Remember when Four was in jail? And the party stuff? No one cared. And everyone loving announcery for Foundry must have been rough. I don't know. No one wants to be forgotten and brushed aside. I know that better than anyone. Wait! So you think Four would come back if we just showed him we care about him? Of course! I mean, that's why they left in the first place, right? What we need to do is give Four a big, big hug! Ah, someone help me! Guys, whatever you do, don't hug the cactus! It's deadly! I'm serious! Uh-oh, I have to pause the video. Uh-oh. Do 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 do. Wow, this this ad is so cool. This is the coolest ad. Whoop. Let's ignore that last moment. But maybe if I try hugging the ground, huh? Yeah, anyway, thank you, Profiley. I have to go. Oh, so I guess I'll uh just stay here then. <laughs> Profiley and four time. <laughs> hmm? Hey four. Can you hear me? Wake up! Four! Little four, it's time to wake up now! Wow! I'm so glad I won the prize! This, uh, this thing, it's really good! You're very welcome! We've done so many seasons, we were running out of prizes! But thankfully, that one is really good! That's what I just said! Hmm? Hey, four! Can you hear me? Wake up! Four! Little four, it's time to wake up now! What's, uh, what's going on out there? And who was that? Have you tried waking up? Uh, wake up? Uh, I don't want to, though. We don't need him, Four! You can stay here forever! We all like you, at least! Why did you emphasize we? Who doesn't like me? Oh, like Four. You know the answer to that. Ha 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 ha. Everyone except us. But don't worry, Four. I don't have a favorite number. But but I do have a favorite host, you. Oh, man, I made you guys up, didn't I? None of this is even real, is it? It's a great detective work, buddy. Did that take you all day?
So even the fake version of you that I made up in my head still behaves like this, huh? <laughs> even like your fake friends inside your own head hate you. And it doesn't even stop here. Everyone up there hates me too. Don't say that. They rejected me. They liked their little speaker box. Well, then they can have him. I get it, guys. I'll never be as good. But then why won't they leave you alone? Very good question, Match. I'm you. I'm a figment of your imagination, remember? Ah, yes, I got that. I'm just, like, pointing out that you just, like, complimented yourself on your own idea. Yikes. Okay, this, this conversation really derailed rather quickly. Regardless, they all pushed me away, and now they won't leave me alone. Well, you know what I say to that imaginary eight ball? They don't get to have me back. They can keep the weird speaker box forever. They won't even care. Grr! And you wonder why they all rejected you, huh? This is not my fault! Seriously? You kill people for fun, and you torture us with eternal math, and get angry if we don't do it! Not to mention all the guilt-tripping and over-possessiveness. Stop talking! I don't need you imaginary folks anyway! In fact, I don't need any of you, real or not! <laughs> Can you all help me? Whatever you need, little X. Don't I still need to avenge you for something or whatever? Never mind that. Help me with this and we'll consider the score even. I need you all to help me save four. Save four? What if he pulls my fingers again? And when he did pull your finger, there was no punchline. It also really hurt me. Yeah, but the worst part was that there was no pull my finger punchline. You want us to save four? I mean, four wouldn't save us. You all chose to partake in Four's show! Please, just help me get him back! If not for him, then for me! Please! X never steered us wrong, guys! Come on! So what do you need, pal? Just follow me! And bring the BFB! You got it! Hop, hop, hop! La la la, buildings and castles, minding my own business, and singing to myself like the legend that I am! Wait just one second. My sandcastles are good, but I don't remember building that one, am I right, folks? <laughs> Close your mouth and leave me alone! <laughs> you know, it's kinda weird. All this fort talk, and now it feels like I'm seeing him everywhere I look. Spongy said the BFDI is under the seat! Quick, let's grab it! No, 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 no! This is my BFDI, now and forever! Why are you doing this, Purple Breath? I understand I the feeling of wanting to steal something, but why the BFDI, Purple Man? Oh, <laughs> you want to know the truth behind my evil schemes, huh? Well, remember back in the final 14, where if you move the camera to the right, Profiley was there? Well, if you move the camera to the left, Announcer was there. But if you move the camera up, I was there all along! Ah, yes, I am evil, and I have evil big wings too! <laughs> answer right now because none of you respect me i was furious when i was sent away to the pillory ruins at first but now i realize that's the best fate for me alone and forgotten but at least i'll be in peace What just happened over here? It sounded like Four was heading back to the Pillory Ruins, folks. Ooh, I know how to get there super fast. Sesame <laughs> Smart Superman! Oh no, I thought this thing got wrecked. Well, it's been a while, Lolly. I fixed it. That's... That's great. Nice thinking, Ruby. You're so smart. I know. Now, everyone get in. Is there a radio on this thing? That's broken, but luckily I have my voice box. Ruby, don't you dare. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Shut up, shut up. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Yeah, 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 cool. I don't want to, I don't want to play copyrighted music. Audio.
You guys don't thank me for my TV idea. I keep being refused hosting stuff. I, I, I bet you guys wish I was back in my box, don't you? A little bit. Purple Man, I think your contributions have been great. Yeah, remember the sweater I gave you? The Earth took a major toll for that piece of art, that's for sure. Hmm, true. Don't give me the BFDI right this second. No, 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 no. no, I need something for my hard work. Back where it belongs, it's my show. It belongs to me. Well, I won the first season. I deserve it the most. Well, I want to rewatch the barf bag contest. <laughs> Clearly my motivation is best, so I deserve it. I already let Fiery lose one prize. I won't let him lose another. <laughs> now I'm on fighting, or else no one keeps it. We deserve it. I've been eliminated four times. BFDI stands for my very own show. Think it's mine, guys. Hand it over. It's mine. We haven't seen four since the desert. The lack of four sightings is alarming. Maybe we should turn around? Luckily, we have a very special smart friend for this type of stuff. Droplet, do you notice anything unusual nearby that could relate to four? Just leave me alone already! Great work, gang! After him! <laughs> what the? What just happened? The world went sideways, duh. Clearly someone didn't take Gelatin's Earth class. I think the bus is dangling from something. You didn't stop the bus, Purple Pro? It drives by itself. Once I got it started, you all distracted me. This is all your fault, not mine at all. Guys, okay, everybody just calm down. Just hand me the BFDI, and then we can just all be done with all of this. Cut it out! What has gotten into all of you? The BFDI is cool, but this is so reckless and ridiculous. Everyone, get off of this bus before we all die. Nothing is worth this type of nonsense. All right, gang, we're gonna need to climb up out of here. Quickly, everyone. Uh, where's Flower, guys? And Purpley Boy. And the speaker box. Uh, don't tell me they all stayed on that bus. The BFDI is still in there, too. <laughs> I need it. I fought so hard for it this season. As have I. I need it more than anyone. Oh. BFDI is literally mine. I deserve this. Pretty please. But I want it. I haven't been paid all season. This is payment enough for me. I waited for years to return for this. Don't let it go to waste. <gasps> Why is it so important, Speakerface? Just get another copy! That's exactly it. This is the only remaining copy of the entire show. We can see you for... Not a great disguise, buddy. Curses! I can't believe he's protesting this much! BFB means so, so much to him! Really? Why? Oh, well, back in the day, BFDI was his favorite show. Okay. Uh, wait, really? So wait, none of it is preserved? Like, at all? Some clips exist on the internet, but this is the last existing archive of the whole show. It's my life's work. I need it. Wanna talk about life's work? My entire life's work was starring in one Yellowface commercial. Then I was boxed away, and th then I did a variety hour. I've only done enough things to fit on one hand. Say, the hand gag is mine. You're not giving yourself enough credit, Purple Bro. You hosted a cake at steak and explored an oven with us. Sometimes you can tell you aren't welcome if people questioned why you're around. But I don't think anyone did that with you. We got used to seeing you around, and if anything, it was nice to have a host around that we knew wouldn't blast a laser at us every three seconds. Truly, you've been integral to BFB, Purpley. We really like you being here with us. Wow. Thank you, Flower. It's the High Speed Express train. Thanks, Super Van. You've done a great job. Fantastic use of the van, Ruby. It's great this thing is back in action. All right, guys, let's all board the express train. We can beat four back to the pillory ruins. Wow, that train does look fast. Thanks for the idea, Lollyhead. <laughs> Leave me alone, folks! Choo-choo! 
maybe we shouldn't have announced our plans. I feel conflicted. On the one hand, I find Forrest's presence very scary and alarming, but then he goes and says, choo-choo, which must be like the least threatening phrase ever. You know what I mean? Choo-choo. Think again, balloon buddy. Luckily, we have a backup. The steam train is still here. Excellent idea, my friend. Everyone, get on. What? Okay, okay. Maybe I'm being selfish by wanting the BFDI so badly. You have an interesting definition of the word maybe. Flower, you earned it. Thanks for making me realize I'm not just a dumb cameo in a commercial. You know, Flower, you've really changed. I'm heading out. See you folks outside. Well, it's just us now. I guess we can argue and argue over who gets it, but maybe that's not fair. You did win it. Nah, I don't want it anymore. What Purple Face just said, that's worth the win in itself. Keep the BFDI, buddy. Let's get out of this death trap. I decided that the BFDI belongs to our speakery pal here. Anyway, glad that's settled. I guess every finale has something wild in it, but it's all settled now. Agree. Thank goodness there's not some other, even bigger conflict going on. That would be lame. So, is it just me that notices the desert is no longer blue? Ah, <sighs> we're not quite finished, are we? So, what? Four was a big fan of BFDI, you said? Yeah, I mean, we definitely have free time. Want to explain that? Four wasn't just a big fan. Four was the biggest fan. Bigger than you can possibly imagine. He'd sit and memorize BFDI episodes. He was in love with it. Still watching that BFBDFI show thing, are you? Uh-huh. Oh, shit. This is my favorite scene of this episode. Let's take some time to commemorate Blocky's elimination. No, psh, let's not do that. I, I agree, agree. Let's, let's not. not. One day, ask people are gonna be quoting me. I'm gonna be on that show. Really, for The world's gonna know my name. I'll be the favorite. I'll be the favorite. Once the second season finished, Four compiled all of his recordings of the episodes into a block. Creating the BFDI! And I think that might be the only preservation of the first two seasons left! Wow, he was such a huge super fan, and he got his chance to host the show and... We all rejected him. I just want to point out, though, Thor was kind of mean to us. That's true, too. Maybe we were all a little mean here. We have time to fix any damage. Let's save our favorite alien friend. Hey! That one of our favorite alien friends. Hooray, let's do it. Hello, we're back. Oh, why, hello. So, what happened? Well, you guys all left, but then you came back. Did you somehow think we were asking you about what happened to us? What happened to everyone else? Oh, Four became conscious again and fled to the pillory ruins. I think. What? Guys, we need to go help right now. Uh, huh? We had to help! They've got it covered! I'm sure they'll know what to do! So what are you suggesting we do in the meantime? Nothing. Actually, I had a better idea! I'm gonna need help setting something up, folks! Where could he be? I really thought this would be the landmark in the pillory ruins you would come to. Sorry, guys. I know one final place he might be, and I know it all too well. Mm. Yup, guys, I found him. Where, Balloony? Right up there. Teardrop, you know how to just run up this thing, right? Then take it away, Tearster. You got this, buddy. Everyone, hold hands and hold on tight. We're heading up to the BRB. I asked you to leave me alone. You didn't listen. I asked to be here in the ruins by myself. And you didn't listen. There's only one place I can think of more lonely and empty than this place. And you've all pushed me to this. <laughs> What on Four's BRB is going on up there? I think he might be propelling on. The BRB is landing, guys! <laughs> We're flying! This is not a happy occasion, Ruby! <laughs> We're flying! <laughs> I wonder how the Four stuff is going. About as well as I expected so far. 
Oh, hey, two. You're more powerful than four, right? Can't you do something about this sun thing? I don't know where you heard that. But anyways, I'd rather stay out of this. But the sun is blue. And I'm green. Talk to us, four. I demand it. Four! Time to chat now, buddy! Four, four, four! Four, 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 four! Can't avoid your best mate, Ruby, for long, four! It's time to chit chat! Please! Why won't you all just leave me alone? You don't want me as your host! I get it! Whatever! I moved on, so why won't you? Because we're mad, okay? We're mad at you, four! You come in and make us compete for these prizes, and you hurt us! And you're mean to us! And then we all choose to still compete for your prize, and you continue to hurt us, and I, I don't know, the oh, pulling our fingers so we feel pain for your own benefit? Or like killing us or doing that weird thing where you spin us into weird shapes and you put all of us in cages for months? We like you four, that's why we stayed, but you can't expect us to remain fully committed when you don't even treat us nicely. Maybe, maybe I was too harsh there. I just- No, you're right. Thank you. And for what it's worth for, we're sorry too. We obviously enjoyed your hosting this season. People don't compete for 30 episodes for something they actively dislike. Sure, some people did move on, but what matters is that we stayed. We were here for you, buddy. Yeah, we've had a great time being in your season four. And we got cool sweaters and did weird different challenges like building a tower and stuff. And to be fair, while the BRB was rough, we did get tablets and stuff to use in those cages. It's been so fun. If only there was some way to show you how we've had fun. Flawless segue, loser. But regardless, we can show you how much fun we had for with the BFB. Let's party, Taco! You're a true blue friend! I'm not blue! <laughs> Yay! Now we're climbing a mountain! <laughs> It's been a really fun season four. Thanks for hosting it. You're welcome, Chili Teen. Thanks for being such a great player. You're a true winner in my eyes. Congratulations on winning, by the way. <laughs> Flower one. Oh dear, I had a lot of money riding on that. Oh no, <laughs> this is really like bad news, guys. Maybe you can discuss this later. Four, you're back. <laughs> It's, it's great to see you. You're a true yellow friend. That's me! Can we leave the sun now? Three times here is overkill for one lifetime. Also, I'm melting again. Sure thing. Let's get out of here. Yeah! yeah! You guys did it! Yeah, and we couldn't have done it without the BFB flower. Thanks again. No worries, Jello. We should have been teaming up together for a long time. Seems like it's a good combination. Very true, my friend. Hey, announcer. Thanks for taking care of the end of the season. Well, it is mine. I know. It's your show. And I'm sorry I took it from you. I understand. And without you, we probably wouldn't have made another season. And I wouldn't have had the original seasons backed up either. So, I don't know. I guess you're cool. He sure is, speaker friend. Uh, no, you're gonna thank me for hosting episode 29 all by myself too, fool. <gasps> you did? He did. He actually saved the series. I, uh, nearly got it canceled. Sorry about that. Well then, I owe a big <laughs> thank you to you, Purpley Head. You really outdid yourself. <laughs> Yay! Also, not to break the celebration, but while those folks were saving you, we were working on something a little cool. Oh gosh, what is it? Your very own party for! <laughs> I know we didn't come through for you a couple of rounds ago. I hope this makes up for it. Everyone, thank you so much. It's perfect. I mean, it was a group effort, but a lot of this was Profiley's doing. It was truly their idea. You like it! Yay, yay, yay! Wow, then thank you, Profiley. Clearly, it was the right decision to let you join the game. Correction, I was always in the game. Well, I don't know about that. Well, I was, so conversation over. Anyway, <laughs> I really appreciate it, Profiley. Thank you so much. So we all had a fantastic party to finish the season. We played games and ate food, and just got to hang out without the stress of a competition holding us down. Hey, Bub! 
Ruby. What's up? Wanna help me eat this grand cake? Yoy! <laughs> it must be nice for flour and gelatin to actually, like, use their prizes, huh? Huh. <laughs> well, Dream Island is all in the past anyway. Onwards and upwards. Hey, why don't we just find a new one? What do you mean? We don't have Dream Island right now, but, like, we can always find a new island and make it our Dream Island. You, you want to do that? Because that sounds awesome. We have a lot of lost time to catch up on, Fireman. Let's do it. Let's go. <laughs> and we all just got to relax and have fun for a while. And while some things stay the same, some really cool new opportunities opened up too. And while some of us relaxed and took time off, some of us were keen to think ahead to the future. But really, any past seems like the right one to me, as long as I'm with my best friends. Anyway, so that's the comic I wrote, inspired by Teardrops comics. What do you reckon she'll think of it? Oh, I'm sure she'll love it! Has anyone actually seen Teardrop? She's been missing for like, a day now. Hmm, well, I'm sure we'll see her again sooner than we think. Alright, we got everything, Fireball! You guys sure this is gonna be safe? Surely, I guess just try recovering us every now and then, in case, you know. <laughs> Good luck, guys! I hope you find the dream island you're looking for! Thanks, Brendo! We'll miss you, Flower! Congrats on winning, girl! You deserved it! We'll see you soon! Bye, guys! I'll miss you! Flower, there you are! Blocky and Woody need new guests for their show! I thought you'd be an awesome partner! Wanna go together? That sounds awesome! I really did win, didn't I? Wait up, gelatin! Wait for me! Oh my gosh, you guys, that was the end of a crazy episode. But not only is it the end of a crazy episode, it's the end of the whole season, because that was the finale of BFB. We saw the journey of two Algebraelians for an X as they hosted a show for three and a half years straight. Thank you for joining me, X. And thank you for running the show and leading me. Oh, we got the dog to start barking. But now it's time to bring this chapter to a close because we're passing the torch onto our friend Adam Katz. He is starting the third season of his awesome object show, Inanimate Insanity Season 3. One, two, three, go! Since this season is coming to a close, we're gonna take a little break just to focus on other parts of our life. But if you really wanna know what's up, you can check out the Jack and Jelvy TikTok where we have been posting daily for 11 months. Yes. We might also still be uploading casual videos to this channel whenever we feel like it, but there just won't be a dedicated schedule until we have some other big project coming. But if you want to see what the characters are still up to in the future, of course, Teapot 2 is still happening, so be sure to stay tuned for that. We'll be back. Yeah, we'll be back. Don't worry about us. One more thing is we would not be able to do any of this without the crew. The so crew. thank you to the BFB crew for just sticking with us this entire year, just making all of this possible. I'm sure Foreign X will be back in future videos of some sort or another. We just don't know when yet. So if you want to know what they're up to in, in future videos of some sort. Whoa, that looks so cool. Sort or another. We just don't know when yet. So if you want to know what they're up to in future projects, subscribe to Jack and Jellify. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Thank you. So, Fiery, the first word of the season was, hey. Yeah? So, I thought it'd be cool if we made the last word the same, too, right? Chew! Hey! Uh, why are you saying hey? We're already talking. No, I'm saying hey, like, so it's the last word of the season. Hey! Yo, what's up? You're not following me. Just be quiet. Hey! I'm getting mixed signals. You want me to be quiet, but you also say hey? Just, okay, the last word of the season has to be hey, okay? Sure. Hey. Hey. Yes, we did it. Oh, I kept talking. Darn. Rookie mistake, I see. Hey. Yo. No, say hey. Hey. But like, after I say it. Hey. Hey.
I was midway through speaking. How about this? On the count of three, we both say hey. Okay? Three. Hey? Uh, that was my bad. I meant to count down, but okay, let's try again. One, two. Hey, I need to borrow this. Thanks. Hey! <laughs> That was, that, was, hey. that was a good one. Hey guys, I'm gonna be reacting to BFDI 25. Oh, that's not BFDI 25. Hey, if you enjoyed this, I'm gonna do an outro now. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to click the annotations that are appearing on screen right now. Hello, everyone, and welcome to what. Annotations right now. Uh, maybe not yet. Uh, now there are literally so many annotations on screen right now. So, there are literally so many. Like, there's just all the 